We ended up at Disneyland yesterday <laughs> on my day off. And so I'm snacking in line to go on soaring over California. Should have known it just by the title of the ride. Soaring over California. And so we get up finally to the front of the line where the attendant is, and he's kind of cracking jokes with some people that are in their two parallel lines, and, and he's talking to the people that are in this line, and so we're right here in this line, and so I'm kind of just eavesdropping listening to him to, to banter on with them. And so all of a sudden, he, he catches, as we get ready to go and go in, he catches me out of the corner of his eye, and he goes, it's okay to smile, sir! <laughs> And God's like, gotcha. <laughs> oh, hallelujah, anyhow. <laughs> oh, man, it was too funny, folks. Let me tell you, it, it was priceless. Anyway, for those of you that have no clue what I just talked about, uh, if, you have, if you have a computer, you can go to God, too, and check it out. Anyway, all right. Great word about thoughts, but that's what it's all about. It's the battle of the mind, and who's going to win the battle of the mind? That's what it's all about. Jeremiah 29 and 11 says this, For I know, I know, no, I'm not, I'm not going to NIV, I'm going to New King James. <laughs> version if you want to, but I'm, I'm going New King James tonight. I'm not going NIV, I'm not going King James, I'm not going New Living Translation, I'm not going Message Bible, I'm not going New Century Version, even though we use all of those here, but I'm going New King James tonight because New King James says, for I know the thoughts. Everybody say the thoughts. That I think towards you, says the Lord. And I wonder sometimes if I know the thoughts he thinks towards me. Because often the thoughts that I'm thinking are not the thoughts that he's thinking. And I think, since we're talking about thinking, that the trouble with our thinking is that we're thinking thoughts that God's not thinking about ourselves, about our situation, about our circumstances, about our lives, about our future, about our jobs, about what's going on in our family, about what's going on in our home, about our finance. Oh, come on, somebody. The Lord said, I know the thoughts that I think toward you. Notice what they are. Thoughts of peace. Everybody say thoughts of peace. Thoughts of peace. Not having thoughts of peace, then you're not having God thoughts. <coughs> I know it's late, but don't check out already. Don't catch that train home yet. <laughs> Thoughts of peace and not of evil. So how do you know when you're thinking the thoughts that God's thinking towards you, they're thoughts of peace. They're thoughts that bring you peace. They're thoughts that put peace in your heart. They're thoughts that bring peace into your spirit. They're thoughts that give you a peacefulness in your countenance. Even in the midst of a storm. Because they're not thoughts of evil that God's thinking of you. But thoughts, listen to this, thoughts to give you a future and a hope. What thoughts are you thinking? What thoughts am I thinking? You see, oftentimes I find myself thinking thoughts that I know God's not thinking. About myself. I'm not talking about what I'm thinking about you. I'm, I'm selfish here tonight. What I'm talking about, I'm thinking about me. Thoughts I think 
You see, oftentimes the biggest battle that we have is the battle with us. You know you have less of a battle with Satan than you do with the battle with yourself. Did you know that? Do you know you have less issues with other people than you do the person that's in the mirror? If you can deal with that person in the mirror, if, if you can beat the person in the mirror, if you can outdo the person in the mirror, then you've got a day. <laughs> Come on. Everybody, everything else tells in comparison to that person in the mirror. Do you know that God thinks more of us than we often think of ourselves? And so what do we need to do? Just like our name was sharing tonight, we need to have our mind renewed. We need to have our thoughts changed to become His thoughts. That's what she was sharing. It's got to be in the thoughts. We've got to have the thoughts of God. We need to think the thoughts of ourselves that God thinks of us. Now you got me inspired now. <laughs> Do a sermon series. Don't worry, not tonight. <laughs> They're going to give you a future. They're going to give you a promise. They're going to give you... 